Octonauts, hold on. Something is about to hit us. Dashy. Peso. Shellington. Inkling. Vegemals. Brace yourselves. What? Cat, you hear that? It's coming from outside the octopod. <laughs> <laughs> huh. The screen is blank. We've lost the radar. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to your stations. Captain, what's going on? The radar isn't working. Tweak, Quasi, let's go outside and work out what's happened. The dish must be broken. I'll have it fixed faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Peso, open the octo hatch. Yes, right away, Captain. The radar dish isn't broken. It's gone. The thief must have stolen it. We have to get it back. I reckon that scurvy thief is around here somewhere. I'll find him with me spyglass. Ah, seaweed! <sighs> yeah. Oh, now I can't see a thing. Here, use my binoculars to look for anything unusual. Hi, Captain. Tweak, come with me. We'll search the other side of the octopod. Glass since me pirate days. The thief couldn't have gone far. Aha! A trail! <laughs> ah, we've lost the trail. Whoa! I bet there's a lot of places in this reef for a thief to hide. I'll look under every rock until I get my spyglass back. Hold on, Quasi. This thief is sneaky. So we'll have to be sneakier. If he sees us coming, we'll never be able to catch him. So we'll have to make sure he doesn't see us coming. We're going after the thief, but we don't want him to be able to see the Gup A. How can you help us, Tweak? I've got just the thing. Camouflage. Push that button, Captain. Oh! Camouflage helps the gup look like the rest of the ocean, so no one will see you. We'll look just like the rocks and the seaweed. And if you need even more camouflage, press that. Understood. Thanks, Tweak. Quasi and Peso, prepare to launch. Captain, I'm fully prepared for any emergency. Yeah. Tweak, open the octahash. Right away, Cap. The trail disappears under that rock. Let's keep a lookout. The thief has to be around here somewhere. Whoa! That plant just took a walk. Over there. Look! Follow that plant! He's got my spyglass! Up ahead! We're 
Where did it go? Octonauts, let's investigate. Quasi, you go this way. Peso, you check that way. An injured anemone. Oh, let me bandage that for you. Good as new. Oh no, my bandages. What is it, Peso? Those are special bandages for wrapping tentacles. I've got to get them back. The thief strikes again. But we're not giving up. The spyglass, the radar dish, and the bandages. Look! I don't see anything. On the rock. <gasps> but I know I saw them. How could they just disappear? Captain, there's only one explanation. This place is haunted by a ghost pirate. A ghost pirate can make himself and anything he steals invisible. He sneaks up on you, just like... Growl! Just like that. Uh, Quasi, I'm not sure we're dealing with a ghost pirate. A lot of things have, you know, disappeared. And every time we chase after the thief, Whatever it is, instead of us chasing him, let's make him come to us. We'll put something out for the thief to steal. When he comes near us, the alarm will sound, and then... We'll get him! How about this? Perfect. Now we wait. Captain, are you sure he won't see us? Good question, Peso. Time for extra camouflage. Steal that seaweed moustache from under our noses. Ha! We found the thief! Here he is under all our equipment! Now, uh, oh! <laughs> Easy there, fella. Just return the things that you stole from us. That's all we ask. I didn't steal anything. Then how do you explain the fact that our equipment is attached to your shell? I'm a decorator crab. A decorator crab? Yeah, a decorator crab. I attach things to my shell for camouflage so nobody can see me. Especially sharks. That radar dish belongs on the octopod. The spyglass belongs to Quasi. And the bandages are pesos. I didn't know they belonged to anybody. I, I was just trying to blend in, that's all. I put them on, I take them off. It's no problem. Thank you. Ah, guess I have to find some new things to cover my shell. You know, there is something we can let you keep. This seaweed moustache will help you stay camouflaged. <laughs> Thanks. A gift to you from the Octonauts. Yeah! <laughs> The radar's fixed. Good work, Twig. Thanks, Cap. I made one other little change out here. Oh, 
Professor Inkling, we've just received a call from Captain Barnacles. I'll be right there. Uh, could you stay here and take the fish biscuits out of the oven? <laughs> Professor, we've found some underwater caves to explore. Oh, excellent. Wow! Captain, are you okay? Yes, Peso, but something seems... <laughs> Octonauts, stand by. We're under attack. Barnacles out. Mm. Ah, I can't see what's got us, Captain. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on, Quasi. We're getting out of here. Shiver me whiskers! Whatever it was, it's gone. Octonauts, we're okay. Phew. Prepare to open the octo hatch. Barnacles out. Are you all right? Aye, matey. Gup's covered in slimy ink. And what are these marks? <gasps> mm. Must be where the monster grabbed us. The monster? We don't know that it was a monster. Hmm. Captain, I've seen marks like this before. Unless I'm very much mistaken, they were made by... My cousin. Your cousin? Yes, my cousin, Irving. The giant squid. Dashy, let's show them my family photos. I've been helping Professor Inkling put his family photos on the computer. That's me and one of my relatives, the blue-ringed octopus. My little cousins, the firefly squid. And that is my distant cousin, the giant squid. That's your cousin? It's the only photo of him I've got, and it's not even a good one. I haven't seen him in a long time. He's enormous. The octopus and the squid are in the same family. I'm small, and he's big, but we're alike in many ways. We both have arms with... Suckers! Excellent for holding on to things. Aye, that explains how your cousin grabbed the gup, eh? But why would he do it? Well, Cousin Irving may have been trying to ask for help. That's a funny way to ask. Well, I don't think he meant to hurt you. Well, in fact, I think you scared him. Really? Both my cousin and I squirt ink when something scares us, you see. The ink allows us to run away and hide without being seen. Captain, we need to find him and make sure he's all right. Professor, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to find Inkling's cousin, the giant squid. Quasi, peso, into the gub. Captain, I don't usually go out on missions, but Irving is family. If he needs help, then I should be there. Let's do this. Oh, the fish biscuits. How nice to have them for the trip. Thank you, Vegemals. One more won't hurt. <laughs> Whoa, Vegemals. I think that's all the biscuits we have room for. <sighs> Prepare for launch. Yow! Open the octo hatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. This could get bumpy.
Professor, your cousin may be inside one of these caves. Hi, this is the place where he reached out and grabbed us. It looks dark in there. Won't your cousin Irving be scared? Don't worry, Peso. A giant squid has the biggest eyes of any creature in the ocean. It's easy for him to see in the dark. So, we'll go slowly and try to see him before he sees us. Remember, Quasi, we don't want to scare him away. Quasi! Peso, you search that cave and I'll take the other. Aye, Captain. I'll keep a lookout here. We'll call you on the radio if we find your cousin. It's just a little dark down here. Nothing to be afraid of. Uh, there's something huge up ahead. Oh, sorry. It's just some big rocks. I think I found him. Ooh. Come on, show yourself. Ow! Ah, it was just a manta ray. Oh. Eh? Octonauts, I may have found the giant squid. Oh. Activating creature detector. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, it was just an eel. Octonauts, continue the search. Oh. Ah, these fish biscuits smell wonderful. Perhaps a little snack will cheer me up while I wait. Cousin Irving! Inkling! Hmm, something smells good. Would you like some fish biscuits? Coming right up! Hmm. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Cousin Inkling? Cousin Irving. Are you all right? I've been so worried about you. Oh, I'm just hungry. I've been looking for food all day. Ah, so that's why you grabbed the gup, eh? You thought it might be food. Um, do you have any more of those delicious fish biscuits? Captain, another basket of those excellent biscuits, please. Cousin Irving is very hungry. So, how did you find each other? Oh, I smelled those fish biscuits. A giant squid has an excellent sense of smell. Here, have another basketful. Rather. And this is the octopod, my home away from home. Well, my cousin the octonaut. Let's get a new picture for your family album, Professor. Moving closer, please. Perfect. We're ready when you are, Captain. Activating tentacle reach. <laughs> Give me a smile. Say seaweed. Seaweed. <laughs> I know. Wazzy, sound the octo alert. Aye, aye, Captain. 
Oxomorts to the HQ. Octonauts, we need to... Whoa! Oh, my! Whoa. Whoa! What was that shaking, Captain? It felt like some sort of tremor, Peso. An underwater tremor, to be exact. It's caused when the bottom of the ocean starts to shake. And now our ship is tilted. Quasi, tweak, let's get the octopod standing straight again. Aye, Captain. Sure thing, Cap. There's our problem. The shaking damaged one of the octopod legs. No worries, Cap. We'll have the ship fixed faster and you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Bunch of munchy crunchy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what be making that strange sound? Look, over there. It's a it's a it's a slimy pink pudding. I'm pretty sure it's a sea cucumber. Ow! 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 <gasps> that rock must have fallen on it during the tremor. Ow! Ow! We're gonna help you, little fella. We need Peso down here, right away! Peso reporting for medical duty, sir. Don't worry, I'm here to help you feel better. You wanna fix the octopod, Cap? Thanks, Tweak. Hmm. This is a type of animal called a sea cucumber. Woo! You really are slippery. So you think my patient is some sort of sea cucumber? Snort sea cucumber, actually. Oh, it's not a sea cucumber. Yes, it is a sea cucumber. Snot, to be exact. Dr. Shellington, either it is a sea cucumber or it's not. It's snot. It's not. No, not. It's not. It's snot. Snot. You see how it's covered in slippery, slimy snot? Being covered in slimy snot makes it easy to slip away from anything that tries to catch it. And that's why it's called a snot sea cucumber. Oh, snot sea cucumber. No, I mean, yes, I think. <sighs> it's okay, little Slippy. It doesn't look too bad. I'll just bandage you up and you'll be as good as new. No! Please hold still or I won't be able to... No! Come here now. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oops. Whoa. Slippy. Slippy, are you under here? Hello. Slippy. Where are you? <gasps> A trail of slimy snot. Injured snot sea cucumber on the loose. Injured snot sea cucumber on the loose. That's not good, Captain. A snot sea cucumber needs water to breathe. She can't be out of the water for too long. All octonaut hands on deck. Injured snot sea cucumber on the loose. And her name is Slippy. <laughs> Avast, you slimy critter! Come to Quasi!
munchy, crunchy carrots. <laughs> Now, our snot sea cucumber was last seen sliding into an octo shoot. Aye, she's a slippery one, all right. According to my calculations, we have less than five minutes to get her back into the water so she can breathe. Octonauts, we must find her now. She's probably looking for water, so search in places where there's water. <laughs> Captain, we're running out of time. Oh no, what are we going to do? Hmm, there's only one thing we can do, Peso. If we can't bring the snot sea cucumber to the ocean, let's bring the ocean to the snot sea cucumber. Huh? We'll flood the octopod. You mean fill it with water? Yow! Hi there, Captain. It's all fixed. Attention all octonauts, put on your diving helmets, opening all hatches. We're flooding the octopod. Yep, faster than you can say, flood the octopod? In ten seconds, the octopod will be completely filled with water. Nine. Hang on, Slippy. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Wherever she is, at least she can breathe. But she's still hurt. There has to be somewhere we haven't looked. Right over your head. Over my head? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe not, but there she be, right over your head. Oh, yes. Gently now. We don't want to frighten her again. It's all right, Slippy. We're not going to hurt you. Uh Gotcha! This won't hurt a bit. Good as new. You should heal nicely. And here's a sticker for being my... my... my slipperiest patient ever. Oh, thank you! Great. Now let's get you back out into the ocean. And the ocean back out of the octopod. Well, at least things are back to normal. Um, sort of. Yep, Cap. Looks like we'll be picking seaweed out of the ship for a long time. But it was worth it. <laughs> was the last piece, but there's still one missing. Where could it be? <laughs> Slippy, come on now. That's not the way you play with puzzles. It's not. Well, it's not. Oh, snot. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see how my biggest patient is doing. Ah, I can't wait to see if your patient's really as big as you say, Peso. Here we are, the coral reef. Where's your patient? Captain, I don't see anything big. It's right here, Quasi. My patient is the coral reef. What? Of course. Coral reefs are made of coral, which is alive. The coral reef needs a checkup just like any other creature. That's true. The coral reef is home to lots of different animals. So if anything happened to the coral, they'd have nowhere to live. Aye, that is a big patient. Hmm. Hmm. That's not good. What's wrong, Peso? 
This coral is turning white, Shellington, which means it's getting sick. There's another white spot over here. <gasps> Peso, you'd better take a look at this. Oh, no. The entire coral reef is getting sick. If anything happens to it, all these creatures will have to find a new home. There's only one thing to do. Quasi, Shellington, I need you to find me a small piece of healthy coral on the seafloor. Aye, aye, Peso. Let's go. Captain, I'll need to borrow your hydro drill. What are you planning, Peso? An emergency coral transplant. I drill a tiny hole into the sick coral. Here you go, a piece of coral. Perfect. Now, I'll put this piece of healthy coral into the hole and... There! That's a coral transplant. The piece of healthy coral will help make the sick coral better. Look! Great! We've saved a coral reef and just in time for lunch. I don't think so, Quasi. Look at all those white spots. I'm going to have to do a lot more coral transplants to make this reef healthy again. And we're going to help you. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the coral reef is sick. Our mission is to help Peso do as many coral transplants as it takes to make it healthy again. But the coral reef is huge. What's the plan? Dashi, you, Quasi and Tunip will search for healthy pieces of coral on the sea floor. Shellington and Professor Inkling will sort through them to find the healthiest ones. Then Tweak and I will drill tiny holes in the reef and Peso will put the coral pieces into the holes. Now, everybody got it? Got, got it. it! Octonauts, let's do this. If we all work together, the reef will be healthy again in no time. <laughs> Aha! Another piece of coral. Ah, just a sea sponge. Oh! Spiky sea urchin! <sighs> Sorry, little urchin. These coral pieces are harder to find than I thought. What was that? <laughs> huh? hmm. Someone's playing a trick on me. <laughs> huh? Shiver me, whiskers! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face! <laughs> Dolphins, what's the big idea? Playing tricks on me while I'm... Oh, we were just playing around. What are you doing here anyway? Want to play with us? We're blowing bubble rings! Yeah, I'm too busy to play right now. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. There's a pirate here trying to work. Thank you, Dashi. Have a look at this one, Shellington. Ah, this one looks very healthy. I'll put it with the other red ones. Ah! Ah! Jumping jellyfish. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Tag, you're it. <laughs> oh, my. There you go, Peso. Thanks, Tweak. Steady, steady. What you doing? Lappity flippers. Cool. You want to play catch? That's one of our favourite games. Here, catch. Whoa, careful with that. Sorry, dolphins, but we've got work to do. Maybe some other time. Oh, there's got to be someone who wants to play with us. Come on. We've been working for hours and we still have so much more to do. At the speed we're going, it could take days to finish. And these dolphins aren't making things any easier. Barnacles to Shellington. 
These dolphins won't leave us alone. Why are they acting like this? It's normal dolphin behavior, Captain. Dolphins are curious creatures. They... Ooh, what's this? <laughs> they love to play with each other. <sighs> and make up new games. <laughs> hey, everybody, check this out. <laughs> I've got a sponge on my nose. <laughs> sponge nose, sponge nose. Sponge nose, sponge nose. Hmm, <laughs> 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 there. Oh. Ah. Oh, this is starting to get out of hand. Attention, dolphins. We have very important work to do. If you could please just... Hey! <laughs> Bet you can't catch me! Oh, enough is enough. Huh? Uh. Oh! Whoa! Um, easy now. I just want to... Um... See how long you can hold on! Hey! Whoa! Sharks, straight ahead! <laughs> nice catch! Thanks. Are you okay? Yep. Thanks for the warning back there. So, what should we play now? Sorry, but playtime is over. We octonauts are trying to save the coral reef. I need to get back there. What's wrong with the reef? It's very sick and we're trying to help it. We find pieces of healthy coral and put them into tiny holes in the reef. Oh, so that's what you guys were doing. Find the coral, put it in the hole. Hey, that kind of sounds like a game. Can I play a help too? Hmm. Well, we do need all the help we can get, but um, what could you do? Find the coral, put it in the holes. Find the coral. Hey, I found a piece. Ah. That sea sponge on your nose is a pretty good tool for finding coral in the sand. Found another one. Do you think you could show the other dolphins how to do that? Of course. Grab on, I'll give you a ride back to the reef. Let's go. Ready, everybody? Ready. 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 With all of us helping out, we'll be finished in no time. Five pieces of coral before you find one. Ah, you're on, matey. Mm. Another healthy one. Thank you. That's the last one. Here you go. Thanks. There, we're finished. The reef is starting to look healthier already. Hooray! Great work, everybody. Dolphins, we never could have done it without your help. There's just one more thing. What is it? Tag, you're in! <laughs> <laughs> Do it. The guppy's all fixed up again. I tweak. She looks better than ever. And take a look. I added this special turbo button. It'll give you an extra burst of power if you're in an emergency. I or a race. I can't wait to take her out for a little test drive. Open the octo hatch, me hearty. Uh, okay. But, Quasi, use that turbo button only in an emergency. I better make sure this thing works. Captain 
you've got to see this. There's something big out there on the storm tracker. Hmm. Activating Octoscope. Hmm. It's a big storm, and it's heading straight for us. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we have to get the octopod ready before this storm gets here. If a storm is big above water, it'll be just as big below water, too. Dashi, let us know when the storm gets closer. Aye, aye, sir. Peso, close all the outer portals. Aye, aye, Captain. Tweak, pull in the octopod arms. Aye, aye, sir. And Quasi, start turning off the engines so we can... Quasi? Hmm. Where is Quasi, anyway? Uh, he's test driving the gut B. Outside! Tonight? Oh, it's nothing. Stick close to your family. Whoa! That's a big family. Where's everybody going? Out of the reef to deeper water. That way we'll be safe from the big storm. Big storm? What big storm? The one that's heading this way, mister. If there's a storm coming, I'd better make sure everyone in the reef is safe. So long, matey! Yow! You sure have a... Big grip for a little lobster. Thanks, mister. See ya. Mom! Mom! He said I have a big grip. That's nice, dear. Quasi, can you hear me? This is urgent. There's a big storm on the way, and you've got to get back to the octopod before it gets here. Aye. Just let me do a quick check of the reef to make sure everyone's safe. Don't worry, Captain. I'll get back before the storm gets here. Captain, the storm is coming quickly. It's only ten minutes away. Quasi, we'll keep the octa hatch open for as long as we can. Thanks, Captain. Yow! Sea urge in trouble. Away. Aye, aye. Gotcha. Eight minutes. Almost done here. All done. I'm heading home. Farewell. Only seven minutes.
Can you hear me? Get back to the octopod now. Can you hear me? Captain, I... Only five minutes till the storm gets here. Ah. Twig, get the Gup C ready. I'm going after him. Be ready to close the octa hatch the second we're back inside. I'm almost with you, Quasi. it. The tow line. It might just work. Captain, only one minute left. Thanks, Dashy. The water is starting to come in the octa hatch. We have to close it. No, Twig. Wait. Keep the octa hatch open. Coming in. Stand by to close the octa hatch. We'll be home in ten. Nine. Eight. Hold on tight, seven, little lobster. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, yes. You gave us a real scare. If it weren't for this little lobster's big grip. Yow! We wouldn't have made it back. Oh, it was nothing. Hey, this is a great place to stay safe in a storm. Hmm. That was some test drive, Quasi. Looks like I have a lot of work to do. But first, would anybody like some hot chocolate? Aye, aye. Me too. Extra marshmallows for me. These pictures coming in from Dashy. Ooh, where is she, Captain? She's exploring a strange underwater cave. There's some amazing stuff in here. Let's run these pictures through the computer to get a good look at the whole cave. Uh, it looks like there's squid and some tropical seaweed. The cave floor's red and wiggly. Those little rocks hanging down look kind of familiar. That's because they're teeth. And the floor is a tongue. How can a cave have teeth and a tongue? Because it's not a cave peso. It's a, a whale, whale shark. shark. Dashy, can you hear me? Loud and clear, sort of. You're not in a cave. You're in a whale shark. Get out! Now! Uh-oh. Closing time! My camera! Dashy, can you hear me? I'm all right, Captain. I'm... The signal can't reach her now that the mouth is shut. She's trapped inside a whale shark. We need to get her out. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, this is a whale shark. 
No, Tunip, a whale shark isn't a whale. It's the biggest fish in the sea, as big as a school bus. It's so big that Dashie thought its mouth was a cave, and now she's disappeared inside it. How dare that dastardly beast swallow our mate! I'm certain he didn't do it on purpose, Quasi. The whale shark is a filter feeder. A filter feeder doesn't use his teeth for biting. He just opens his mouth and swallows whatever's there. And this whale shark swallowed Dashie. <sighs> we have to get her out. Then you'll need to take this whale shark detector. It flashes when a whale shark's near. Quasi, Peso, into the gulf. Week, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. That's strange. According to the map, the whale shark was right here, but I don't see him anywhere. Probably planning a sneak attack. The whale shark detector hasn't flashed once. We'd better get out and take a look around. Peso, you stay here and keep a lookout. Righto. Quasi, when we find the whale shark, here's our plan. We'll need to open its mouth to slip in and get dashy. But first, I'll confuse the beast by leaping all around like a heap of spaghetti. Meanwhile, I'll slither through your spaghetti. Captain Quasi! <gasps> Captain, behind you! It's the... <laughs> whale shark! You never got to leap around like spaghetti, did you? No, I got sucked in like a wet noodle. Dashie! Dashie! Let's look for her by going that way along the tongue. Charge! <laughs> oh! Her tongue is kind of ticklish. We better step lightly. Tiptoe. This looks like where we came in. So let's go back the other way. Slide. <laughs> These things keep you from falling onto your bum, eh, Captain? They're gills. The whale shark uses them to let water back out while keeping food in. You think Dashy could have gone out through the gills? Nope. She's too big. This wall feels all spongy-like. The sponge wall is another way the whale shark can let water out while keeping big stuff in. Looks like it kept Dashy's hair clipping. But Dashy must have squeezed her way through. She's on the other side. There's no time to lose. Let's suck in our bellies <gasps> and squeeze. <laughs> Quasi, Captain, can anybody hear me? <laughs> I guess not. <gasps> Don't roar at me. That's not a roar. That's a moan. You must be sick. When a sea creature's sick, I'm there. Even if he is as big as a school bus. Everything looks fine in the ear. Nose looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have octonauts. Oh. <sighs> 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 We seem to have landed somewhere. Is that you making that clicking sound? I thought it was you making the clicking sound. Well, if it's not you and it's not me, then who or what is making the clicking sound? Whoa! 
Oh. Yeah! Hey guys, it's great to see you. Um, Dashy, we've found you. And you seem to be all right. I'm having the most incredible time taking what just might be the first photos ever taken inside a whale shark's stomach. I hate to interrupt your photo shoot, but if this is the whale shark's stomach, we need to get out now before we sink any further. Octonauts, let's get up and out. Totem pole. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it, all the way back to the mouth. The beast's mighty jaws are shut tight. Activate helmets. Stand back. <laughs> oh. Your arms are powerful, Captain, but my legs are poetry in motion. Stand aside. Cat coming through. <laughs> this might take all of us working together. Say, ah. Uh... Mm. Why won't you open your mouth? Mm -mm. You're a filter feeder. That's what you do. Whale shark. Tummy ache. If you tickle a whale shark's gills, he opens his mouth. <laughs> If we all charge and push together, we can do this. Ready? Ready! Goochie, goochie, goo! On your marks. A goochie, 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 goo! Get set! Goochie, goo! Go! Please, so, I got the whale shark to say, ah. You freed us. And you're the whale shark's tummy ache. Ah, cute little beast. Oh. Not so little. <laughs> I can't decide which of these photos I took to send into National Geographic. They're all amazing. You must send each and every one. Actually, not all of them. Ooh, you might want to skip a few. about there's something out there something big really big I saw it it's huge it's white and it made a noise like Whoa. Captain look at this I managed to snap a picture of whatever's out there that's it that's what I saw what on earth could it be it's as big as a whale but whales are usually dark grayish Hi, me hearties. <gasps> That's no ordinary whale. That there be a ghost whale. Ghost whale? Aye, it's a crafty beast, as pale and cold as the moonlight. It rises from the depths at night and plays tricks on passing ships. Whatever it is, it sounds sad. It may be hurt. Or need our help. We're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, 
to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Tweak? If there's something out there, these will help you find it in the dark. Whoa! One peek through these ghost goggles, and you'll be able to see the heat coming from its body. Ghost goggles? Shiver me whiskers. Ready, Peso? Let's go. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. That scallywag must be around here somewhere. This way. A vast. Strange heat patterns are coming from that pink-coloured reef. Whatever we're looking for, it should be right here. And then we'd better take a look. Octonauts, let's investigate. There's something very strange about this reef. Captain, look at this. It's white underneath. Hmm. Let me try that. <laughs> this is no reef. Some kind of trick. Come here, you. Steady on, Quasi. We still don't know what we're dealing with here. It's coming back. What? Haven't you ever seen a whale with a sunburn before? This may be another ghost trick. Or this may not be a ghost at all. Ghost? Who are you calling a ghost? I'm a humpback whale. I just happen to be completely white. Nice try, but you're pink. I've got sunburn on my back and it doesn't feel very good to have you lot climbing all over it. Ouch, that must really hurt. Ah, oh, well, it's my own fault. Yesterday I spent too much time near the surface and got this nasty burn from the sun. With a burn like that, you should stay down here at the bottom, out of the sun. I'd like to, but uh, I can't hold my breath forever. I have to go up for air every 15 minutes. The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Uh, Peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're going to need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. It's made from water, sea slime, mushroom coral mucus... Mushroom coral! That's it! What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. We're going to need some gup backup here. You got it, Cap. Which gup do you need? All of them. Octonauts, 
Let's pick up the pace. We've got to get this well to the coral before sunrise. Hang on, big guy. We're almost there. We should find some mushroom corals in the shallow water up ahead. Truly amazing. An albino humpback whale. Albino? Every now and then, a whale will be born that's completely white. An albino? It's a very rare sight indeed. Listen, mate. I can't stay under forever. How about taking me up for some air? Captain, the whale needs to take a breath. Got it. Quasi, you copy? I copy, Captain. Watch that fin. Tweak, are you there? Right here, Cap. We've got to bring our friend here up for air. Get ready to surface. Octonauts, let's do this. We have to hurry. The sun will be coming up any minute now. Ahoy! Mushroom coral! Straight ahead! Uh-oh. Looks like we've got company. A school of squid. We'll go around them. At this speed, we can't turn fast enough to go around them. What should we do, Captain? An emergency drop. I don't think I like the sound of this. Those coral are our target. On the count of three. One. Two. Three! Nice driving back there. Excellent work, Octonauts. But we've still got a lot more work to do. We're not hurting the coral, are we? Mushroom corals are tough and aren't attached to anything. They don't mind being moved around a bit. Just a bit more. And finished. Huh, a coral that makes sun cream. I never knew there was such a thing. Oh, I never knew there was such a thing as a white and pink whale. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I think I feel it's working already. Uh, good on you, mates. Just be careful not to spend too much time in the sun. Let's take a photo. Wait. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Watch the sunburn, mate. Oops. <laughs> Perfect. Captain, rocks and rough waters ahead. Dashi, activate steering wheel. <laughs> All clear, Captain. Thanks, Dashi. Should be smooth sailing ahead. Well, at least until we hit the Roaring Forties. The Roaring Forties? The Roaring Forties are a part of the ocean with very rough water and powerful waves. Ooh. Nothing to worry about, Peso. I've piloted the octopod safely through these waters many times before. How did you learn to pilot the octopod so well, Captain? Practice. Lots of practice. And lots of late nights spent reading this manual. <laughs> <laughs> How to Pilot the Octopod, 3rd edition, written by Captain Barnacles. It covers everything I've learned about piloting the octopod. In fact, Peso, it might be a good idea for you to give it a read. Me? But I'm a medic. Well, you never know when we might need a backup pilot. Ooh. All right, I'll read it. I'm not sure I'll understand any of it, but I'll try. Ah! Oh, clean me, hearty. Huh? Well, now. This shell would make a fine addition to me collection. Who are you calling a shell? Uh, I'm a cold snail, see? Uh, nobody puts me in a collection, see? Sorry, little fella. I, I just... Uh, yeah! oh! ah! uh, <sighs> I feel... I feel kind of funny. Uh... What's going on out here? <gasps> Me, oh my. Come in, Peso. There's something wrong with Quasi. 
Don't worry, Quasi. You're going to be all right. What could have caused this, Peso? I'm not sure. It's almost like he's been poisoned. But by what? It stung me. What stung you, Quasi? No, Quasi didn't sting me. I'm Quasi. Tunip was there when it happened, Cap. Tell him what you saw. He says it had a swirly shell about this big. Was this the creature? Jumping jellyfish. What is it, Shellington? It's a cone snail. No wonder Quasi is acting so strange. A cone snail sting is full of poison. And it must still be here, somewhere on the ship. We'd better find it before anyone else gets stung. Shellington, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a dangerous cone snail somewhere aboard the ship. We need to find it and release it back into the water. Cone snail, you say? Ah, yes. Little fellows that can sting you with tiny harpoons. And they have up to 20 harpoons ready to fire, each full of poison that can make you very sick. Captain, there's no medicine for a cone snail sting. Time and rest are the only cure. But why would it sting Quasi? It was probably just scared and trying to protect itself. We'll have to be very, very careful around it. Octonauts, let's split up and find that cone snail. Uh, no, nobody captures me, see? <gasps> oh! <gasps> Leave me alone, will ya? Um. Uh, huh. Huh. Oh. <gasps> Octonauts, any sign of the cone snail? Not yet, Cap. Anyone else? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Inkling, Dashy and Shellington have all been stung. Peso, I'm bringing three more patients to the sick bay. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh. Tweak, the cone snail must be somewhere in the octo shoots. I need you to close them off. On it, Cap. I'll let you know as soon as... <gasps> Tweak, are you all right? Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh. Peso, you'd better prepare one more bed. <laughs> How are you doing, Peso? This is a lot of patients to take care of at once. Don't worry, Captain. I'm a medic. Taking care of people is what I do. Luckily, I have some help. <laughs> hmm. He must be in the vents. Right. I'm going after him. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, watch it. What's the big idea? <laughs> Captain, you did it! Oh. oh no, you were stung. Just rest easy, Captain. Everything will be... Oh dear, what's happening? Uh, ships entering the Roaring Forties. Very rough water. Need to get through. No, Captain, you're uh. too weak. Oh. Oh, yes, somebody has to pilot the ship, and that person is you, Peso. Me? <gasps> Peso, use the manual. You can do this. But, but, Captain... You've learned 317 ways to bandage an injured fin. You've performed crevectomies in the frozen Arctic. Oh. Those are medic skills, and I've done those things lots of times. But there was a first time. We're all counting on you. I... I... I have to try. Tunip, keep an eye on my patience. <laughs> all right. Um, autopilot off. Activate steering wheel and turn on the octolift. <laughs> Whoa! Captain, I laid 
it to the steering wheel. Uh-oh. Big rock. What do I do? It says don't steer, but I have to steer around the rock or we crash. Keep one hand on the wheel. Use the other to engage the rudder. You can do this, Peso. Huh. Engage? Rudder? Whoa! Maybe I can do this. Whoa. I can't do this. What do I do? Rocks and rough waters. It's not in here. What do I do? You do the one thing that isn't in the manual. Trust yourself. Trust myself? But I'm a medic. I don't pilot ships. I take care of people. Hold on. I am taking care of people. Everybody on board the Octopod is counting on me. I can do this! On ship, Peso's in danger. Uh, must hold on. Uh, uh, clippers. Uh, we're out of the roaring forties. I did it. Now to switch the ship back to autopilot. To check on my patients. Ah! Hey, so look out, cone snail. Huh? <laughs> hey, so I'm, I'm all right. Wow, the ship's manual really did come in handy in more ways than one. <laughs> Sorry for all the trouble. I, I was scared, see? And I was only trying to protect myself, see? No hard feelings, eh? No, just a bit of a sore paw. Tweak, open the octo hatch so our cone snail friend can go free. Sure thing, Cap. See you later, see? Bye bye. bye. Hey, hey. Whee! Peso, I was very proud of you today. You saved the ship. I'm just glad everyone's feeling better. Uh. You might want to tell that to them vegemals, matey. I'm fine. I'm fine. This little reef is only a few years old, but it's already full of life. Aye, this reef is busy, even if it's not very big. Hey, it's big enough. Who said that? I'm right here. Show yourself. Oh, here I am. I'm a frogfish. Name's Anton. Wow, you look so much like the reef. I didn't see you there, matey. That is the idea. I'm camouflaged, which means I blend in with what's around me. It keeps me safe from bigger fish who want to eat me, like those sharks. Sharks? Everybody hide. Uh -oh. I thought I smelled food. Let's head to a bigger reef. Oh, see what I mean? <laughs> you fooled them, matey. Fascinating. These other fish can't blend in like the frogfish, but the reef has lots of places for them to hide. This reef keeps us and all our friends safe. It is our home sweet home. Oh, look out! Sorry about that. We fixed the pedals, and now the gub F steering isn't working right. Aye, and as soon as you fix the steering, something else will break. I know. This is the first gub I ever built, so I can't give up on her. Maybe if I pedal a little faster. Yep, that's good. Whoa! No, that's bad. Ah. Tweak, Macy. Are you all right? But now I gotta fix the steering, the pedal, the rudder, the top, the bottom. Ah, is there anything on the gup F that doesn't need fixing? The seats are still comfy. Oh! 
Captain, the storm tracker shows that there's a hurricane on the way. Octopod to Quasi, Shellington and Tweak. There's a hurricane heading your way. And it's moving fast. Take cover in the guts. There's not enough time to return to the Octopod. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll ride out the storm in the Gup Sea. Very good. Barnacles out. There's a hurricane about to hit, matey. Storm coming. Oh, everyone take cover. Then I'm not camouflaged. How will I hide from the sharks? You can't hide either. Hmm. I see what you mean. Captain, the coral reef's been destroyed, and these fishies need a new place to live. We have to do something. Agreed. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, the reef dwellers need our help. Their home was destroyed by the hurricane, and now they have no shelter or protection. Maybe we could move all the fish to another reef. There may not be enough time to move them before the second part of the hurricane hits. Second part? A hurricane starts with strong winds and waves that stir up the ocean. Then there's calm like it is now. But that's because we're in the quiet centre of the storm, known as the eye. After the eye passes, it's followed by winds and waves even stronger than the first ones. But the fishies will never survive that without a reef. Hmm. What if we build them a new reef? Ah, you're talking about making an artificial reef, Captain. But an artificial reef? An artificial reef can be made out of anything. A sunken ship or even an old train carriage. Algae, sponges, coral and plants attach themselves to it. And that attracts fish who make it their home. But what could we use to make an artificial reef? Well... Truth is that the Gup F isn't much of a Gup anymore. <laughs> but I reckon it'd make a great artificial reef. Super, super! Great idea, Tweak, but we'll have to work fast. The first step, we should cover the Gup F with algae and coral, Captain. Using lots of sticky limpet glue. Octonauts, let's do this! <laughs> Spawn. Much better. Well, what do you think? Oh, it has plenty of places for me to blend in. And plenty of hiding places for the rest of us. I say, let's move in. Uh, uh, hold on, everybody. Don't touch anything yet. The sticky limpet glue still needs time to dry. Captain, the second half of the storm is coming in quicker than we thought. And it's going to be big. But, Cap, the glue hasn't hardened. Everything we've put on will get washed away. Oh, no. If you get washed away. I'm scared. Oh, no, it's a tragedy. This is a disaster. Don't worry, me hearties. We Octonauts always have a backup plan. Anybody got a backup plan? It's a shame the artificial reef doesn't have a helmet like we do. Hmm. Maybe we can give it one. 
Hatch seal. Okay, Tweak, lower the tow line. Now take it away, Tweak. You got it, Cap. The dome will protect the reef cap, but if it takes a direct hit, I can't guarantee it'll hold. Dashi, can you give me the exact direction the hurricane will hit from? Sending it to you right now, Captain. Octonauts, we'll line up the guffs A, B, D and E and form a wall to stop the hurricane from hitting the reef too hard. And I'll use the guff C to try and keep the dome steady. Stay close together, everyone. Hurricane force current will hit in five, four, three, two, one. Brace yourselves. For frogfish like me. And for us, too. We love it. It's great. Yeah, for all of us. Well, Quasi, I admit that the gut bath was never the fanciest gut, but I'm proud to say that it sure is the homiest gut. This is oh, wonderful in here. Oh, I am no longer so Fergal of the Sharky. And we can dig for the secret treasure of Whitebeard the Pirate. I wonder what Whitebeard's treasure could be. No one knows, Cap. But Whitebeard was a fearsome pirate. I've heard that he could throw one of his legendary flying snowballs from the Arctic all the way to the tropics. Calico Jack once told me that a snowball from Whitebeard landed right on the deck of his ship and it never melted. Remarkable. Here, Cap. This be the spot. Uh-oh. What was that? We hit something. Why, there it be. Whitebeard's treasure. Now all we need is the key for that lock. Let me just find the right one. Bluebeard's treasure, Redbeard's treasure. And, ah, here it is. Oh, my paws are so cold I can barely feel them. Whoa, the key! Shiver me whiskers. Captain, a hungry sardine just gobbled up me key. That could make the sardine very sick. We've got to find her. Let's split up to cover more ground. Hi, Captain. Ah, found him. Oh, 
Are you all right? I'm fine, Captain, but I just took a whale of a ride. What was the meaning of those bubbles you were blowing at me? Well, I can't help it if you crashed into my bubble net. Humpback whales like me make bubble nets so that we can catch a lot of food at once. We're sorry to disturb you, but uh, we're chasing after a school of sardines. Maybe you saw which way they went. No, but I'll keep an eye out. If I see them, I'll send you a signal. That's how us humpback whales communicate. Just listen for this. <laughs> Got it? Got it. Whoa, there's some krill. Yummy. Hey, gotta go. And the name's Mitch. That little sardine is going to get a big tummy ache if we don't find her soon. Hi, Captain. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Track down a sardine who swallowed Quasi's key. Oh no, that could make the sardine sick. I found a school of sardines in the area, Captain. Great work, Dashy. But how will we know which sardine has swallowed the key? Tweak? This x ray viewer should do the job. Tunip, let's show him. Hide that hammer behind your back. Super, super! Very good. We'll need more than one of these X-ray viewers to find a little key in a little sardine in a great big ocean. I'm on it, Cap. Peso, meet us out here in the Guff E. Once we find the right sardine, we'll need you to perform an emergency keyectomy. On my way, Captain. Quasi, Peso, activate X-ray viewers. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. The sardines, let's go. And now move in closer so we can look for Quasi's key. They're splitting up. You two follow that group, I'll follow the other. Aye, aye, Cap. We have to hurry. That sardine needs our help. Ow! I'll say it again. Yeah! Peso, Quasi, none of my sardines has the key, which means that one of yours does. Quasi and I are still chasing them, Captain. Quasi, are you? Quasi? Quasi to Captain Barnacles. Do you read me? Peso, are you there? I've got to get me gut back in the water fast. Hold on, there's that humpback whale. Ahoy, Mitch! Can you hear me? Oh. Maybe if I send that signal. Oh, sounds like somebody needs help. Oh, you really do need to watch where you're going. Yeah, yeah, but right now, I need to get my cup off this iceberg. Okay, I'll tip the iceberg over for you. Oh. Ugh, too big for me to tip over by myself. Yeah. But it won't be too big for me and a couple of friends. I'll send out a signal. Yo, Mitch. You called? Hey, guys. I need some help tipping over this iceberg. Let's do it. Always enjoy a little iceberg tipping. Hold on up there. Ready, guys? One. A little more. Two. A little more. Three. Yeah. Thanks for your help. And now I've got to catch up with those sardines. We'll come along, just in case you will run into any more trouble. 
This guy has a habit of crashing into stuff. No, now we've lost Quasi and the sardines. I'm right behind you, mateys. And I brought some friends. <laughs> nice to have you back. Captain, sardines, they're right under us. Everyone, follow me. And there's the sardine who swallowed me key. I see her too, but we need to keep her in one place so I can remove the key. <laughs> hey, Mitch, could you and your mates blow a humongous bubble net to keep the sardines from getting away? Of course. Come on, fellas, bubble net. some of these bubbles, then let out a nice big burp, like this. Uh. Oh, pardon me. Uh. <laughs> it worked! Mickey! Sorry it gave you a tummy ache. I feel much better. Thanks. Thank you, humpback whales. No problem. Always enjoy making a bubble net. We'll just be on our way now, but, uh, will you look after him? He, he has a habit of, uh... Crashing into things? <laughs> yes, I know. Oh. Well, Cap, now that I've got me key back... We finally get to see what's inside Whitebeard's treasure chest. <gasps> Tis the legendary flying snowballs of Whitebeard. <laughs> and look... It's a note from Whitebeard himself. It says, whoever finds this treasure is worthy to use it. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> All right, Mr. Lobster, let's take a look at that antenna. It's all right, this won't hurt. All done. Oh, thanks, Doc. Bye. Cheerio. Ah, my last patient of the day. Peso, come in, Peso. Captain, is something wrong? There's no time to explain. Head down to the launch bay now. Ooh. <laughs> What's going on, Tweak? I don't know, but the captain sounds real worried. Here he comes. Peso, I've got a lot of hurt patients back here. Hurry. <gasps> Pelicans. There's more of them in here. Peso, we found them covered in rubbish. They need your help. Tweak, clear out your workshop. We'll need that space for an emergency room. You got it, Peso. Work, Peso. Your quick action has saved these pelicans' lives. Aye, but what happened to them? I've never seen a bunch of birds so bent out of shape. Ah, twas awful out there. The lads never knew what hit them. What was it, matey? Were you attacked by some kind of rubbish monster? Not now, Quasi. These pelicans need to rest. No, it's all right. Tis a tale that needs to be told. Old Charlie's the name, and this here's me fishing crew. 
We'd flown out to sea for our first fishing trip in the morning. And we just spotted a big school of little fishes for our breakfast. All right, lads, I told them. Prepare to plunge! That's how we pelicans go fishing, see? We dive in fast, then scoop the fish up in our pouches. But this time, we were tricked. Twasn't a school of fishes at all, but a big bunch of grimy sea junk. Luckily, Dashy and I happened to spot them as we were passing by in the guffs. I don't know what we would have done without your help. But why was there so much junk in the water? When plastic gets thrown into the ocean, it sometimes drifts together in big floating patches of rubbish. The plastic can be very dangerous to sea creatures who might eat it by mistake. Aye, and the rubbish patch that fooled us is still out there somewhere. Then we'd better clean it up. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Uh, Cap, we're already in the launch bay. Oh, uh, right. Octonauts, our mission is to clean up the rubbish patch that hurt these pelicans. Dashy, can you track it on the map? Already on it, Captain. That must be it. It's drifting over the octopod right now. Peso, you stay here and look after the pelicans. Everybody else, let's head to the surface. Shiver me whiskers. Look at all that rubbish. With these nets, we'll have it cleaned up in no time. But, Captain, what do we do with the rubbish once we scoop it up? Don't worry about that, Dashy. We'll put the rubbish into this octobin. And then take it back to the octopod to recycle. <laughs> Octonauts, let's do this. Octonauts, we're making good progress. I'd better see how things are going back at the octopod. Say, ah, uh, ah, uh, looks good. Peso, come in, Peso. How are your patients? Well, Captain, I'd say the pelicans are healing nicely. Excellent. Ooh. Peso, what's that noise? Hmm, looks like there's another patch of something heading your way. Hmm, more rubbish, maybe. Whatever it is. It's moving fast. <laughs> Something's tickling me toes. <laughs> it's not more rubbish. Huh? It's a huge school of fish. Uh-oh. Whenever there's a school of fish this big, there's bound to be a, yeah! a feeding frenzy. <laughs> Attention, swordfish. There's rubbish in the water. It's not safe to eat here. <gasps> <laughs> oh, looks like they're all too hungry to listen. In that case, we'd better hurry. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh, we're surrounded. Captain, come in, Captain. What's going on there? We're caught in the middle of a whoa! Feeding frenzy. It's making the cleanup a little tricky, and we. Captain, Captain. I have to help them. Listen, Doc, we pelicans know a thing or two about feeding frenzies. The trick is to get in and out as fast as you can. But how? <laughs> what say ye, mateys? Ready to stretch your wings? Right. Ready. <laughs> They're coming from every direction. There's got to be a whoa, way out of here. Captain! Jump on! Great timing, Peso. Octonauts, let's move out. <laughs> Don't look down. Don't look down. Thanks for the lift, Pelicans. Good to see you're feeling better. Now, why do you say we clean up the rest of this sea rubbish before someone gets hurt? Remember, mateys, in and out fast. 
Get ready, Octonauts. When the Pelicans dive in, try to scoop up as much rubbish as you can. Prepare to plunge! of it, Captain. Ha! Huh. Good work, everyone. Hold on. Where's Peso? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'm a medic. I help any creature who's hurt or sick. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> Good to go. Au revoir. That's funny. The swordfish are leaving. The feeding frenzy must be over. Flappity flippers! There he is! Are you all right in there, Peso? I'm fine, Captain. That was a close one. Thanks, old Charlie. No worry, Peso. Good work, everyone. Pelicans, we couldn't have done it without you. Aye, after everything you did for us, it was the least we could do. All right, mateys, who's up for a little fishing? Hooray! Goodbye! 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 Goodbye. 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 Prepare to plunge! <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 